Hello, guys. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. I can hear you. Okay, thank you. All right. So, uh, as you already know, today is our last class. And, well, it's been a journey since the very first class that we had. And today is our last one. We haven't even filled four weeks. But this is our last class. So I'm expecting the other ones to connect. Let's give them one or two minutes. And then we can start with what we are going to have for today. Remember, since it is our last class, today we are going to have our last exam. And I hope that every one of you is ready for that. <clears throat> So do you guys feel ready for the exam? Not really, but we we have to do. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. We have to, even though if you don't want to, but we have to. Yeah, but so um, I hope the other ones connect in a while. Okay, yeah, we have more people connecting. Let's see. Well, let me give you like um, some heads up before we start with the real exam. So the exam will be divided like in three parts. Let's see. One, two, three, like four parts. The first one is going to be like the tongue twister that every one of you already know. The one that I gave you yesterday. Then after that, we're going to go with some verbs. After the verbs, we're going to go with some dictation. And after the dictation, it's going to be something that will be up to you. It means uh, it's going to be regarding to one of the topics that we saw during the module. And, uh, well, if we still have some time, I will check the last details, but I don't think that will be enough because we only have one hour. But welcome the ones that just connected. That's good. Well, how are you guys feeling today? Do you guys feel ready? How do you guys feel today? Are you ready for what we're going to do today? Good evening, teacher. <laughs> good I evening. Try, I try to. <laughs> yeah. But... I'm not ready. <laughs> You're not ready. Okay, yes, but that but yes, that's okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's one of the best parts. Try. Even though if you're not ready, but we're going to do our best. Francisco looks like you're not ready. Uh teacher, I <laughs> study uh, every every day. <laughs> I am working. I sit uh, I'm tired. You <laughs> Yeah, okay, good. And good evening, teacher. I'm hey, sorry. good evening. No, that's good okay. Evening, everyone. <laughs> Alrighty, so even though we just have three people in here, um let's see. I don't know who's asking. I can see some messages on the WhatsApp group. I really don't know. I don't have like the link for the class. Oh, I really don't have it. So I don't know. I think, well, I don't know. Do you guys, does any one of you know, like, how to send a link? Because, I mean, I just connect automatically from my Zoom. It, it does it automatically, so I don't have really a link. Oh, yeah, someone. Columbia. Oh, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Um. Oh, Jenny, you already sent it as well. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Francisco and Jenny as well. Alrighty, so we're expecting the others to connect and I will start giving you the instructions so we can get ready. As I was saying, uh, the exam is going to be divided in four parts. The first part is going to be the tongue twister. That's the very first part, tongue twister. Then after the tongue twister, we move on to verbs. So since now I'm telling you, please be ready. Have your, uh, your notebook or your phone ready with you because um, we're going to have the verbs, okay? Some verbs in past, 
And after that, we are going to have dictation, a little bit about that. And we are going to finish with free sentences. What does it mean? I will give you a topic, any one of the ones that we saw during the module, and it will be up to you to create some sentences. Easy piece, right? I got zero, teacher. <laughs> No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. It will be easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I trust you all, guys. So it's like do your best, and I know that you will succeed. Now, um, if you guys have any question regarding to anything, please let me know before we start with that. And uh, that's really weird. Nobody like. Well, just the ones that we have connected. We're going to start with that. So let me know, guys, if everyone is ready. Let me know if you guys are ready so we can start with that. Yes, teacher, we are ready. Okay, perfect. So I really don't We're know ready, if the... Teacher. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if the other ones are going to connect or not, but that's up to them. It's like they didn't even say anything. So, um, well, it is what it is. It's like uh, it was their opportunity to show up. If they didn't want to, it's their responsibility, actually. Yes. I know I know that in some parts of El Salvador, it might be raining, because at least here where I live, it's like uh, you can feel the wind. Like, you know, it's kind of windy outside. Mm -hmm. So probably it's going to start to rain sooner oh. or later. I'm sorry. But, uh, you have any question, Alejandro? No, 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 teacher. No, okay. All right. So, welcome to the ones, Rosemary and Iris. Okay. So, um, well, so, um, let's see. Let's, let's, I was going to try to give you more, like, like more minutes to the other ones, but that's, it's already too late. It's 8.07, so we have to start. If not, one hour is not going to be enough. So uh, with that being said, guys, we are going to have, uh, let's see, Alejandro, tell me a number from one to 12. 10, teacher. 10, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Arturo, thank you very much. So you're going to be the first one. So let's go ahead and let me listen to your tongue twister. Go ahead, please. He sells seashells by seashore. Thank you very much for that. Let's see. Just let me take some notes. Thank you. Alrighty, now tell me a number from 1 to 12. Uno. All right, number one, Rosemary. Thank you very much, Rosemary. Let's go with you. Good evening. Good evening. Um, she sells seashells by, by the seashell. All righty, thank you very much. Just let me get some notes in here before we move on to the next person. So now, give me a number from one to 10, Rosemary. Seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Janira, thank you very much, Janira, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. She says she shares by this, by the sea show. Okay. Thank you. Let me just get in. Let me try it again. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. All righty. Thank you very much. Now let's go from one to from one to eight. Five. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Daisy. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Okay. She sells cheese by the seashore. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, give me a number from 1 to 10. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alejandro, your turn. 
He sells seashells by the seashore. Hmm, okay. All right. He sells. Now, since we have few people, uh, now we're going to go with Jenny. Let's go ahead with you. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. And now we're going to go with you, uh, Iris. Iris. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Chisel, chisel by the chisels. Okay. So. All right. Thank you. And now let's go with Sonia. I saw Sonia in here. Oh, yeah, she's in there. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. We are going to move on with uh, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Lo intentaré. Uh, the big bad book could be the big bad bird. Not the big bad bird, but the big bad book and back. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Well, um, no. I, I mean, it, some of them were, even though that's not the one we were supposed to say, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. Okay. Lo voy a poner en el chat por cualquier cosa. Okay. So, all right, then let's go with you. I see that you just connected. Oh, he's not there. Javier. Javier, I'm sorry. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Sea shells, sea shells by the seashore. Okay, Wilbur, are you there, Wilbur? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, she sells sea shells by the seashore. Okay, good. Thank you. And we are just waiting for arriving and Cesar. What does Cesar say? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Okay. Uh, she sells seashells by the teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. And now uh, Cesar, he's saying that he's having troubles with the microphone. Okay, so for this time, um, well, looks like you're speaking or you have your microphone on, but we cannot hear you. So it's it sounds like it's really not working. So I, I, I will take it as a valid though, okay? All right, thank you. Now, I already took notes from the first part. Notes are already here from the, from the tongue twister. Now, let's go to part number two. Part number two is going to be about verbs. So I need you to be ready with pen, pencil, or paper with you so we can get started, okay? I will tell you the verb in Spanish one time, and you will have to write it in English. The second time, I will tell you the verb in English, and you will have to write the past. Third time, I will say it in Spanish, and you will have to, to write it in English. Fourth time, we're going to do the same. I say it in, in English, and you write the past. Understood? And so on and so on. Understood? Yes, understood. Yes, teacher. Right. Yes, teacher. Um, Middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. More or less, let's say. It's too much information. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> well, it's not complicated, though, because uh, those are very common verbs, let's say. Verbs that you use to express yourself. So uh, let's get ready. And remember, first one. In Spanish, you write it in English. Second one in English, you write the past. And so on, and so on, and so on. So we'll repeat 
the same thing. We are going to have 10, 10 verbs out of thousand of verbs that we have in English, okay? We have a lot of verbs in English, but we are only going to use 10 today, 10, no more than that, okay? Now, if you're ready or not, here we go. <laughs> All right, let me see. Um, atrapar. Okay, now let's go to number two. Uh, hold, hold, hold. Uh, now, teacher, in English, in translate to Spanish. No, oh, but when I say it in English, you write the... Old de viejo? <laughs> no, I didn't say old. I, I said hold. Teacher. Teacher, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Uh, the last instruction because uh, I missed yes. it. You missed that already. Let me let me say it again. When I say it in Spanish, you write um. it in English. When I say it in English, you write um. the past <laughs> form of the verb I said in English. Do you okay, understand now? Thank you. Now? I'll write it down. Okay, good. Okay. It's understandable for everyone. <clears throat> start. Let's start from the beginning. Number one, I said, atrapar. Number two, I said, what did I say? Oh. Hold. 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 Okay, let's go with number three. Estar de acuerdo. Estar de acuerdo. Number four, avoid. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Number five, incrementar. Incrementar. Presiento que algunos están sacando su Google Maps, like, I'm sorry, Google Translator now. It's like typing in really fast. Now let's go with, uh, mm, let's see. Speak, speak. That's really easy. How many do we have so far? Six, teacher. Six. Six. Let's go with number seven. Discutir. Discutir. Let's go with number eight. Crear. Crear. Oh. No, that, that was in English. So my bad. Don't take that into consideration. We I supposed to say it in English. So never mind. We don't take that. We don't take that into consideration. Good I supposed to say it in English. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> you what? Oh, that's okay. Um. Uh, now let's go with we're not going to take into consideration the one that I said um crear because I said it in in Spanish and I was supposed to say it in English. So now let's go with deny 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 deny, 
That's number seven, right? Nine, teacher. Eight. Eight, yes, the last the last one was number eight. The eight. nine was number eight. Okay. Now let's go with uh proteger. 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 And we go with the last one, which is going to be throw, throw, throw. All right, that's it. Now, since I don't want you to start looking at the Google Translator right now, go ahead and from what you already have, take a picture and send it through the WhatsApp group. That's the first part. I want you to type below the, the image your name, because sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to identify whose, or, um, whose image belongs to every one of you. So if you take a photo, Please go ahead and once you are sending it through the WhatsApp group, type your name below, okay? Like you send the image and then you say it, okay, Rosemary, for example. Okay, let's see, I already got arriving. I already got Daisy, thank you, uh, Jose Arturo. Uh, well, just got three. Jenny, okay, thank you. So if I do not see yours in here, I won't take it into consideration. That's it. Sonia, thank you. Janita, okay. Uh, just sure. a quick... Yeah. And sorry, I am. I'm Wendy speaking. So oh, Wendy. I know I'm pretty. Sure, I'm not pretty sure what I was doing, but I, I have. I don't know if I send it. Uh, what I did anyway. Oh, all right. So that's that's not a problem. I saw that you connected like a little bit late. That's okay. What I'm going to do with you is that the following activity, I will take it like, like in two. Like for example, the score that you get in the next activity, I will take it as the first one as well. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. I got Francisco Lemus. I got Rosemary. Who is JVR? Who is JVR? Me, teacher. Oh, okay, JVR, okay. And Ale, who's Ale? She just deleted what you sent. Alejandro. Oh, Alejandro, I guess. Right. Oh yeah, he sent it again. I guess he's, oh yeah, Alejandro, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty obvious, huh? Okay, uh, I can see your names in here. Thank you very much. If your name is not in here, uh, let me know, because in that case, I won't take it into consideration. I only have Wendy. She's the only one that has told me the reason why she was not here on time. And as I told her, we are going to take the next activity as two for her, okay? But the others, I don't know, okay? So if you didn't say anything, uh, I'm guessing everything is okay. Now, for the next activity, next activity, guys, is going to be dictation, okay? So once again, be ready with your pen, paper, and you let me know when, when you're ready, okay? Let me know when you're ready so I can start. 
I am ready. Ready, okay. Ready, teacher. Okay, good. Ready. Ready, okay. I'm ready. Ready, okay. Ready. Good. Wendy, are you ready for this one? Well, it looks like she's not in there. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. Okay, good. Now, let's start. In this part, guys, I will not repeat the phrase. I will say it one time, like pretty much similar to what we did yesterday. And then it will be up to you to do it, okay? Whatever you understood, just write it down. And that's what we're going to take as a part of dictation. Now, if since everyone is ready, I will start with the first sentence. And it goes like this. Health is a great blessing from God. Since this is a very long one, I will repeat it again, okay? Health is a great blessing from God, period. We all are aware of this. Your micro teacher, I couldn't. Oh yeah, my hear bad. You. Yeah, I said phrase that dash. It is health that is real. Teacher, sorry, I don't know if I missed something uh, after this. Okay, well, you said aware of this and I got lost. Okay, let I don't me know if meanwhile uh, your micro was off. Yeah, that's 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 probably what happened. Let me repeat it yes, again. I agree, teacher. All right, let's go from the beginning and I will repeat it till the part that I just said. Health is a great blessing from God, period. We all are aware of this. Phrase that dash It is health that is real wealth. Period. Good health is very important to live. An efficient life And a healthy person is always free of illness. And a healthy person is always free of illness. Period. Okay. 
um, teacher, I I had a little little problem because I hear you like a robotic in the last word. Illness. Ill illness. All right. Thank you. Okay, that's part number three. In this case, part number three. Go ahead and do the same thing. Take a screenshot, write your name below, and let me know like that is yours, okay? Best of luck, guys. I told you since the beginning that we were going to have this uh, the last one. Oh, Alejandro, you did it as uh, sentences, although it was a paragraph. Okay, but that's good, though. All right, we got the first one. Who is Alejandro? We got Jenny already. Okay, at least Jenny, she let me know the words that she didn't understood. She left a blank space. Okay. A blank space because I don't. You didn't understand. Yes. Okay. All right. We got Iris Regina as well. We got Daisy. Okay. Yeah. Francisco Lemus. Okay. We got Cesar. We got Janira. Okay, now let me ask you this question. How are you guys feeling so far? For me, it's so far the better. <laughs> because I, I don't study. <laughs> you didn't study at all. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's difficult for me because I don't. Okay. You have not. Okay. That's okay. Another opinion. How you guys feel so far? Teacher, for me, has been a little bit difficult because I don't know how to write some words, even though I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, my my mind is struggling with the right with the correct writing of the words I forget the last part of the sentence that you said and <laughs> I don't know the and the, I understand the, that that happens in Spanish as well right when you were at school and the teacher was like you know dictating and she was like oh this and this and that and you were like oh what what did he or she said and you forgot automatically what the person said that's that's normal my uh the main goal with this exam guys is for me to determine whether you're ready to go to the next level or you kind of struggling or for me to determine what exactly is your position at this level so far okay so that's pretty yeah. much what i'm trying to yeah yeah my problem principal is i am i am think about in spanish <laughs> No, es eh, no, um, yeah. eso me genera un problema a veces para entender lo yeah. que dice. And that's, that's what you don't have to do. You have to start thinking in English and not translating word by word from Spanish to English. Otherwise, when you communicate, sounds like you are translating literally word by yeah. word. It's my principal problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get you. Okay, but that... Is my... Um, siento que estoy retrocediendo por eso. Yeah, I know it's it's English is like that, but don't worry about that. It's like you you will get there. Uh, sooner or later you will get there and you will learn. That's that's the main thing. Now okay. we're going to go, guys, to another part, which is uh like the free topic that I told you um at the beginning. What does it mean? Like, it's not like a free topic because I will tell you the topic that I want you to work on, actually. So what I want you to do is write one, 
two sentences like with relative clauses and two sentences with no relative clauses of your own, okay? Think about it. Because if I see that you go to Google and you copy and paste whatever is on Google, I will know. So I want examples of your own. Inventado, pues, okay? From your knowledge. So I don't want you to go to Google, okay? Do it from what you remember. If you remember nothing, please write, teacher, I don't remember, sorry. That's fine. I, I just want to verify your knowledge so far. So remember, two sentences, relative clauses, two sentences, non-relative clauses. What you can do is just, you know, try to think about it. I will give you five minutes to complete that. So from now until 8.41, it will be over. Teacher, honestly, I don't remember, but I know had my book in in, in my homework. I I I don't know the cirlo de hey. You left it. I forgot, I forgot my, my 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 book. Oh, you left it. Okay, yeah. that. Uh, yeah. what you can do if you are from your phone, go ahead and type whatever you think is a relative clause on the WhatsApp chat. Type it in there like on the WhatsApp group or something. But if you do not remember at all, like not at all, no idea about what we're talking about, let me know. I told you guys, study. Daddy, I told you. Tenemos que ese cerebrito trabaje ahorita, right? Think about it. Think about it. Remember, two relative clauses and two non-relative clauses. I finished, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah, but, but you said two with with 
uh, relative closet uh, clauses and the other two were non-relative clauses simple sentences i don't know non-relative clauses <laughs> but are they now i don't remember like english i i have forgotten english Okay, so if you only have the first two examples, that's okay. Please go ahead and do the same thing. Send me a screenshot or a photo of whatever you have and write your name, okay? Please. It doesn't matter if you only have one or the first two examples. If you have the four examples, that's okay. If you don't, it's okay as well. Okay, I already got Araceli. Thank you very much. Do you like being called Sonia or Araceli? Either way. Yes. Ah, okay. We got arriving as well. We got Alejandro. Okay. We got Jenny. That's okay, Jenny. I understand. Okay, Ricardo. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We got Daisy as well. And we got Wendy. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please let me know uh, if you already send it. Well, the other ones I have not sent it, so we can move on to the last part. It's been a very extensive, you see, just in one hour, we have done a lot of things. Arturo, okay. We got Danita, okay. We got Regina as well. All right, so thank you very much, guys, for the one that just sent the information. So we're going to move on to the next, to the last part. This is going to be the last part and it's going to be for you for me to listen to you talking. So, um, let's see, uh, Wendy, are you there? I don't see you anymore, oh yeah. All right, Wendy, yes. give me a number from one to 15, please. 10. 10, okay, thank you. All right, uh, number, what number she said, 10. Okay, let's see. Jenny, it's your turn, please. This is your question. If you were an animal, which animal would you like to be and why? I cannot listen to you, Jenny. Horse. The, the what? Horse. A horse? Horse. Okay, why would you like to be a horse? For me, it's, it's very cute. It's... <laughs> I, I like the horses. And it's, it's 
If you don't know what else to say, we'll, we'll stop it there and say that's it. All right, so this is this, these are going to be random questions, guys. Now, Jenny, thank you for that. I already took notes from that question. Now, give me a number from 1 to 15. 12, okay. Let's see, uh, Maritza. Hi, teacher. Hi. If you have the opportunity to travel around the world, which country will you decide and why? Sorry. You have your mic. Yeah. Teacher, repeat, repeat, please. please. If you have the opportunity to travel around the world, which country will you decide and why? I'm, I would like to uh, travel um, for Spain um, and Italy. I like the, the place and the idioms and I... I think about uh, uh, meet, will meet some friends mm -hmm. and the culture is I'm sorry, what was me. what was that? The 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 cultures is important okay. for me. Okay. I would like um, no to know that the what the now to the cultures of the Spain. Uh, I didn't quite understand the last part. Okay, but okay. So as you can see, guys, it's not the same thing. Like if I give you the questions, you prepare your answer. As if I get you randomly, I ask you the question and you have nothing to say because it comes out right out of your mind. Thank you, Maritza. Give me a number from 1 to 15. Um, five? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Arriving. Hi, teacher. If you were the president of El Salvador, what things would you like to change and why? Or what would you do differently? I would like to change the public tra transportation because it has been a problem for a lot of years. And I would like to change uh, uh, situations re related to corruption. Because, what? for example, corruption. Okay. Uh, oh, because I know a, I know a, a lot of cases of corruption in public admin, administration, uh -huh. and it's very awful the situation. But whatever. And those are the the main goals for me if I were a uh, president. That was a good opinion. Thank you very much, Arabin. Give me a number from 1 to 15. 11. 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alejandro. Okay, how do you see yourself in, in 10 years, Alejandro? Oh, did you listen to me? Or you're trying to organize your ideas. <laughs> He's carrying his inspire right now, like inspiration is coming to him. I cannot listen to you, Alejandro. It looks like you're moving your mouth, but no yet. No, I cannot listen to you. No, no yet. I see you're moving your mouth, but no words can be heard. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, now loud and clear. 
Okay, thank you. I don't know exactly where I would like to to be in ten years, but I just know, um, and I I sure that I want uh, to be where I am right now. Uh -huh. So I want to work in an, in another place. Maybe maybe uh, I I. Uh, uh, I fire to my child maybe and maybe I find another another way to 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 ganarme la vida you know mm -hmm. so, because I want to to, to change of, of my of my um, my profession okay let's say that the part you said in Spanish let's say that I understood it even though I'm going to suppose at this moment that I don't understand Spanish at all. So let's say that I try to understand what you said in Spanish, okay? Now, okay. <laughs> but thank you, Alejandro. Let's go with okay. another person from 1 to 15. Um, Tell me number. Um, seven. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wendy. Wendy. Hi. All right. I'm so, here. what do you think are your weaknesses or your strengths? Uh, um, I don't like the the things that appears that uh, depend. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, unexpected things. Unexpected. Um, uh -huh. um, uh, because that makes me uh, improvise and I don't like to do that too much. Uh -huh. um, um, I don't like I don't like uh -huh. uh, to wake up early. I'm not an early person as well. Um, I don't know. I is that I, all? It, yes, because um, I don't. I try to put myself in a position that I can learn and do uh, everything mm -hmm. that comes to me. Uh, and that's in my life, in my work. So I have a few, a few things that are my weaknesses. Okay, I understand. Good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Sonia, tell me about your favorite movie. Okay, uh, I like the movie. Uh, I don't remember what is the name. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe for you. Oh, maybe for you. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, yeah for romantic. me, mm -hmm. yes. For me, is is very good movie mm -hmm. because it's a story. A story is correct. A uh, uh, what? Is a story is correct? A story, historia. Oh, keep on going. Do okay. keep on going. Uh, I like because mm -hmm. it's different than the other movie. Mm -hmm. um, Is that it? Because because uh, mm -hmm. the the girl the girl uh, the, like um, <laughs> I don't remember what replay uh, says the the boy. I don't remember that. What is the correct pronunciation? Okay. Okay. Hmm? Is that all? Yes, it's that all. Okay. Janita, what's your favorite series? Excuse me, teacher. What's your favorite series? I don't like series. Please change the question. So what's your favorite animal then? 
<laughs> the cats. Why? I um, I have a cat. Two cats. A kitty and a cat. I uh, <clears throat> they are lovely, cute, mm. and they are um, friendly. Um, for me, that that type of that that kind of animals are good friends, and although they pass all the time sleeping, <laughs> like right now, I I I am with my my little cat in my bed, <laughs> and it. It looks uh, peaceful okay. and inspired to me to to feel to feel good feelings and when I I I I think um, I feel bad I only think in that and. I want to sleep with with him. <laughs> okay, good. Uh -huh. Thank you uh, for your opinion. Because Tigrito. Go ahead. Oh, Tigrito. Okay, that's a good name. <laughs> a lovely name, though. Now, Ricardo. Uh, why did you decide to study English and not any other language? I I want to live my life because I have two children, so I need to I need to buy new things. For example other house because it's very important for me uh, speaking English because my daughter study English to uh, with we study English together so when I don't study my daughter don't want doesn't want so it's very important for me now um, improve my skill the foreign skill for example speaking listen it really is very interesting for me uh, speaking English with, with other other people in my country because I we have a few a few people in our country speak English now. is is normal because the the huh? the the people speak English in no matter the time. But but really really is very important for me for my family. Okay, thank you, Iris. What do you think about COVID nineteen? What is what? What do you think about COVID-19? COVID-19? No, COVID. COVID. COVID the ah, uh, sick. Yeah, the illness. Yeah, COVID-19. What's your opinion regarding to that? Okay. Uh, is, the, is the COVID uh, in the country mm -hmm. or for me? It's up to you. Yeah, well. Anything. Mm-hmm. And for my family, it's very, very difficult because my my ex husband Okay. <laughs> I I um I don't know what do you say? Quitaron uh, the work. Oh, you mean fired? Fired the work. Because it's the cloth is the simon. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And in, in the moment is very hard. Only working for me. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Oh. My, my daughter and my sister, I, 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 the situation is very conflicted because I, the, um, I don't know in of the depression. Mm -hmm. Um, I my father I sick because he's only um, encerrado. Okay. Um, is my father is is uh the sick the the diabetes and uh, diabetes you mean? Yeah, <laughs> and the depression anything oh I understand. Me very hard okay I understood now thank you for your opinion Arturo 
Arturo. Okay, Chama teacher. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. All right, now let me let me ask you, what's your favorite car? Um I guess a uh, Toyota. Toyota, okay. Yeah, Toyota is it's a nice car. Um because uh the motors and the engine is the what? The engine. Engines. Engine. Engines. Mm -hmm. Engines. Engines. Um don't give a, a don't give so much problem. Mm -hmm. And um for um the country of they are made. Okay. Um the original Toyota is from Japan is the better car. Okay. Is a better car and I prefer the pickup. than a uh, sedan car because okay. I can I can work with with them. Okay, got you. Thank you for that. Rosemary. You still there? Hi teacher. Your favorite cereal, Rosemary. You tell us your favorite cereal or whatever is your favorite cereal. Give us a, a very small detailed information in one minute, please. Favorite, sorry, teacher. Siri. Um, serie. Yeah, Siri. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't have a favorite Siri. I, teacher, I don't know watching TV. You don't watch TV. Casi no veo televisión. No way, I don't believe that. Well, well, we I, never... I, uh, uh, I like the music. It's my favorite for me. So what's what's your favorite category of music? Like the... Mm. I don't know. Um, in, instrumental. Instrumental. Uh, uh, the music um, relax okay is that all you have to uh, say excuse me is that is that it well i guess so okay thank you rosemary <laughs> now okay. daisy tell us about your favorite cereal daisy for cereal, cereal. Siri, yeah. Oh, now is one piece. Oh, is that a Siri? Tell me. Is the the pi, piratas? Pirates, okay. Uh, one child. Um. Uh, he he want to. Find the One Piece. The One Piece, okay. One Piece is an, an anime teacher. One Piece, definitely. The, the general shown. But now it's a serial in Netflix. Oh, okay. So I really don't know about that one specifically. But okay, so Francisco, can you say more about that one? Repeat the can, question. Sorry. Can you say more about what she was talking about? Um, series or other? Not the same one she was talking about. Um, I don't understand. Sorry. <laughs> so how come <laughs> that you didn't understand, but you were giving your opinion regarding to that one? Ah, sorry. Um, uh, uh, no sé cómo decirlo. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're we finished with Wilver. Okay. Thanks. Wilver, that's okay. Wilver, you there? Well, mm -hmm. looks. 
looks like he's not there well no. so we're going to we're going to finish with these guys thank you so much for the ones that try to do uh their best i completely understand that we had a lot of things today and um well i just want to say before we go that this is our last day the last day that we're going to see each other probably i don't know that we we live in a very small country who knows that probably I can see you somewhere, wherever you live. Because, you know, and if you see me, you, you know, don't be picky. Like, okay, you at least say hello, okay? Not picky. <laughs> All right. So uh, I just want to say thank you very much, guys, for attending to the class, the ones that were always here and participating. I really appreciate that. I wish you the best of luck in whatever you're uh you're thinking or you're planning to do um never give up on your dreams keep doing the way you're doing uh push yourself to the limit because remember us uh we have a saying that says the sky is not the limit it's only the beginning okay yeah. so start about uh, think about that and never stop learning, guys. If you ever have any question regarding to anything, and if you don't know who else to ask, you can ask me, okay? So I, I'm going to be there, and if I can help you with something, do not hesitate, okay? So that's all I have to say, and, well, I wish you the best of luck in everything. So keep on doing the same way you're doing and uh, keep on learning, okay? That's pretty much it. Okay, teacher. Uh, you, a little teacher. question. Yeah. Can, um, would you would you like to send um, them the qualification of our exam or only for you? I, I can't, really. I can't. Uh, for today i can't but next week if you want to know what your score was i can tell you but from this week i can't okay teacher thank you okay <laughs> thanks for everything teacher you're very teacher, welcome is this, is this thank you teacher you're very welcome thank you, thank you teacher yeah no you're very welcome thanks a lot teacher you're very welcome thank guys. you teacher you're welcome. Take care of you, teacher. Thank you, you too, guys. Yeah. Take care <laughs> and everything. And if you're, you know, yeah, that you have to do <laughs> that. So, Ricardo, you had a question. What was your question? I'm sorry. Well, I don't know if you wanted to say something, Ricardo. You had a question? Yeah, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, 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 teacher, because. I I was uh, late in the class. Uh, is this is this the last class, teacher? Yes. 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 This is our last class. <laughs> <laughs> so you got lost in the time, but that's okay. I know <laughs> that everyone here is busy. I see some of you guys working still at home. I know that some of you were doing your best in the class. I noticed that. And uh, but one thing that I that I just want to remind you, if next module you have a teacher, please try to get in contact with the teacher if you are not attending to the class, because that might affect you, okay? Because remember you have attendance. You have attendance and you always have to be careful on that. Okay. Okay, so well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you Thank once you again. Too. Thank you for everything, for paying attention. I hope that you have learned uh, probably not too much, but at least you learned some things that are going to help you out in your career within the English language, okay? So wish you the best and see you. It's not a, see you, um, well, it's not a goodbye, but it's like, see you, see you later, let's say. We never know. So I wish you have a good night. So bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.